So, I hear you want to challenge me. You shall not challenge me. I am my common sense. Fragments of review coming up. It's a quickie. However, it'll get your needs met. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. going on a common sense fam had to come through respond to a tag challenge and i just want to thank you guys for dropping by watching this video also i also want to thank frag head said for issuing the challenge because you know what i like that type of engagement so big up to my man frag head said and we're about to hop right into this video subject's gonna be love to hate I'm back at you again today with something a little fresh and new. My homeboy Frank has said, hit me up with a challenge and said, you know what, bro? I want to hear what Chicago got to say about their fragrance that is a love to hate. Um, I got one today. I've not did a review on it, but I'll rise to the occasion and I don't back down from a challenge. I said, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So here we go. We're coming up with Michael Germain's Sexual Sugar Daddy. I really dig this fragrance. It smells great. It kind of has a Blue de Chanel type of vibe to it, just for comparison's sake, to get everybody on the same page. But the reason why I hate this fragrance, I won't say hate, dislike, super disappointed, is because for me, after about maybe 30 minutes, it's completely gone. It doesn't perform worth a damn on my skin. I don't know what it is. I don't know what to do to make that change uh, to so that it'll perform good on me. But unfortunately, this is one of the ones I actually ended up having to gift because it just didn't fit in my collection, nor did it do me any justice. So I actually ended up giving it to my guy. He wears it. He loves it. It smells dope on him. So I don't know what to do to make it last any longer or to project on my skin because it doesn't project. It doesn't do anything on my skin. It just, it goes on. It's just... So uh, just chilling. So I, I don't know another way to help with that. This one's being billed as a winter fragrance. So maybe that's what it is. Like I've worn it multiple times. I'm worn it in winter, the spring, summer. It just does not perform on my skin very well. To break down the notes, in the top, we got a crystallized grapefruit zest with sugar. In the mid, we got a little bit of caramelized pralines and cinnamon bark. In the base, we got tobacco and leather. So with all of that being said, when I first heard about this one, it felt like something that was going to be legit certified grown man sexy fresh and that's a vibe that i like to do you know? i'm in my 30s man and not the later 30s i definitely felt like this was going to be one that suited how i was feeling in my grown and sexy journey as a later 30s gentleman so i don't know it's just i don't know if i got a watered down batch or what it is but i've come to see that michael germain fragrances he's a master perfumer according to fragrantica and i've had a few of his fragrances some have been hits some of them have been complete misses that's another video uh for another day but what i smell and experience in this one i definitely get that grapefruit sugar and a little bit of that cinnamon it's not overpowering though i i dig the scent i just wished it projected further i didn't get any compliments while wearing this one and again that's you know how i roll compliments aren't necessarily my end all be all it it didn't do enough for me to make a lasting impression so i love the scent the packaging is even pretty dope the, I don't hate the atomizer. I like the bottle. I like the presentation. It kind of reminds me of the throwback Halston bottles. So real frag heads and real aficionados know what I'm talking about. So it kind of gives that nostalgic feel. However, it it doesn't perform well on my skin. Like it's good atomizer. It just doesn't give me that wow factor I need in my collection to really solidify space and take up room in the collection of uncommon sense amidst the shutdown and quarantine or whatever the situation is in your state um i figured i'd hop on here and respond to the challenge by my man frag has said just appreciate the love that i'm getting out here in the fragrance community man and 
I'm very excited to be a part of a community that welcomes me back as much as I welcome it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you've experienced this fragrance, what are your loves to hates? And uh, definitely check out my boy Frank has said he's putting us on and he's bringing us all together and issuing challenges to other fragrance reviewers out there. So definitely keep me in the loop. Let me know what's going on. Drop something in the comments and let me know what you think about this fragrance or what are your fragrances that are love to hates. Oh, the mask? Yeah, I made that. That's me. Mostly fashionable. Kind of functional. But, you know, got to be a multi-hyphenate out here. It's the hustle, you know. One of those things as a creative, you definitely got to put yourself out there. So, again, this has been your boy Uncommon Sense with a little bit of 3D designs. And uh, I'm out.